a great way to start. Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome everyone. While in Southern California, I did spend about half a day in California Adventure for the Oogie Boogie Bash. I rode a few rides during the party, but I did get to spend another half day after that. I rode some more rides and some I got to ride a second time. Let's check out my non-Oogie Boogie time at DCA. I'm here at the Redwood Creek Nature Trail. It's not very busy pretty much any time. But tonight it will be closed because of, quote, rambunctious bear activity. A closer look at the sign might reveal the upcoming rambunctious or maybe villainous activity. Check out Pixar Pier, where the Incredicoaster and Pixar Pal around, or whatever they call it nowadays. I'm heading to the Incredicoaster right now. Midway Mania. These vents in the standby room are wonderful, blowing lots of cold air, a nice respite from the warm outdoors, but it doesn't last for very long. Almost ready to get on the route. I have some success with putting the 3D glasses on the camera lenses. Hopefully it will work well on this one. Now on to the Mickey Ferris wheel ride, whatever it's called, and the non-swinging version. There are some good views from the Ferris wheel. Now 
Snow on the Ferris wheel. Definitely a smoggy, maybe smoky day because of the nearby wild, wildfires. There's Avengers Campus in that direction. Over here is the launch point for the Incredicoaster, and behind that, the walls for Radiator Springs Racing. This is a better look at Radiator Springs and some of the big hotels off Disney property. Top left is Grizzly Peak, toward the bottom is the aerial ride and the walkway leading to Buena Vista Street. Definitely a smoggy day. On clearer days, you can see the mountains. Here's the shot. Grizzly Peak on the right, Space Mountain in the center, Matterhorn on the top left, even Disneyland Railroad Station just to the left of the Space Mountain. They're about to launch the Incredicoaster down there. Hope I can get the shot. Nailed it! Here we are chasing after a cavalcade. They're pretty quick, we're trying to catch up. Here's the water wheel at the Grizzly River Rapids ride. Not gonna do that today, but this is the place where I can get a sick pick. Gonna head out for a little bit. Check out the Oogie Boogie silhouette in the back of the side of the moon. So it's time to take the long walk back to the parking structure. Fast forward about four hours, I return to DCA because my queue group for Web Slinger assessment called. I'm now heading back into the park. I love the Halloween decorations, but it's fantastic and nice. Now heading around the back way to Avengers Campus, heading for this fake cityscape on Buena Vista Street. And there it is. My boarding group has been called. I'm riding this ride twice on this trip. However, the standby line after the boarding group is called is still about 50 minutes. That's really crazy. Anyway, fast forward another hour and finally we get to go inside. One more time on this ride, trying to do a better this time. Glad to see you guys.
still pretty good. Now heading into Oswald's store to do a little shopping. Speaking of Oswald, here he is for a photo op. I never knew there was a time capsule buried here. It was buried when the park was rededicated in 2012 and will be unearthed in 2037. When the park first opened, it was considered a failure, and Disney had to spend a billion dollars upgrading the park, adding Cars Land among other things, to get it into Disney quality. Almost 10 years after the rededication, I'd say they made a lot of right choices. Now getting dark, and here's the sort of new emotional whirlwind, but it's basically a reason where the old flicks fly are from. About 30 minutes later, the sun has definitely set, and we're almost ready to ride. The theming is not too bad, it does look a little better at night with the lighting of those little colored spheres. Oh, I didn't realize there were two voice scripts on this ride. This is a different script than the first time I read this ride. I like this script better than the other one. Since I rode Web Slingers twice, how about writing Toy Story twice? Maybe I can beat my last time. The ride had a few hard times this time. Nope, dropped about 4,000 points on my second one. And also riding a ride twice in front of Coaster at night sounds like a great idea. I've never ridden it at night. Sometimes busy rides are a little better at night. Let's see. Yes, and Credit Coaster is much better at night. I think the best thing Disney California Adventure did was dramatically upgrade the lighting over the last 10 years. This is a stunningly beautiful park at night. I'm not sure if it's possible right now, but bringing back World of Color would be fantastic. That is one great nighttime show. One last thing before we go, we have to pay a visit to Ariel and her Embassy Adventure.
And that's it for my Disneyland Resort activities for this trip. So I'll have to say goodbye to Disney California Adventure and its beautiful Oogie Boogie Gore. I'm not sure when I'll be back in California, but I'm grateful I got the opportunity to visit in 2021, even though Radiator Springs was down this evening. That also means we had to say goodbye to Disneyland. You're pretty great too. I wish Matterhorn weren't broken down though. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! That's work, pal.